the whole idea of gerrymandering coming up. They're going to be looking at all these different districts that are out there in terms of political representation. And so we got to start talking about the census. Now, I've spoken to several people, and they were like, are you crazy? I ain't telling the government nothing. And how many people live in my house or whatever? And, you know, and then me and you talked before, Lori, about how the census used to be pages upon pages, mm -hmm. all up in your business, mind your business, you know. But now it's supposed to be different, right? Shorter. They say it's supposed to be different. And does it is it politically expedient and intelligent for black people to actually respond to the census? Yeah, we need to get educated. <laughs> Again, it goes back to education. I'm big on education. If you understand that how the tax dollars are allocated, then you understand that the census is a way. So if we educate African Americans, I believe, and minorities, that we'll say, oh, okay, okay. I think that it's a slow process, but if we start from that standpoint of education and helping us understand what it means to our so what community. What does the census do? Let's talk a little bit about that because I don't know if people understand what it does. Well, the census is supposed to make sure you know how much money is supposed to be allocated for fixing schools and, and streets, etc. It also um, shows how much uh, representation, representation you have, mm -hmm. you know, um, and politically. So, I mean, all of that's important to make sure that um, you do answer the question so that they know how many people live in your area and, and how much of a vote you have. And ten questions this time. Yeah, ten. there's only ten questions. I, I just, again, and I think I mentioned this before in a previous show, I really would like to know how much in past history we have... Um, gotten the necessary allocations of the monies that's supposed to go to the neighborhoods because I haven't seen it. I mean, when we still have school systems where teachers are Xeroxing copies of chapters and sending kids home to do their homework with just a, a, a Xerox copy of a chapter as opposed to textbooks, I know we have a decent population in the inner city. But I they, think the census should have proven to them that we need more money for the school system. But the argument and, is that people have not been doing yep. it, and so therefore the areas are being underreported, and exactly. we're losing seats. So I was going to say, um, right, go ahead. So, mm -hmm. to your point, you want to know that, then we have to run the numbers of how many minorities actually participated, because then you get a real snapshot of what's really going on. If no one participated, and that's the report yeah. card, then... You know, uh, we what just, are we doing? We just did a, a, a series of workshops through mm -hmm. public housing. And we did maybe 30 workshops in, I don't know, a six months six month period of time. And we met hundreds of people. Tremendous work. I'm proud of you, but, Ron. But the majority, the majority of people that we actually met were not on the books living in public housing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and it, it amazed me to understand that many of those individuals that were living there, you know, either they weren't on the lease they had been, the apartment had been somehow handed down and they mm -hmm. figured out a way yeah. to not, to live in the apartment and not have to report they lived in the apartment. And I don't know how they were paying, I don't know what they were doing, but I just know that those are definitely, there's a lot of folks out there that are not filling this information out. So if there's one thing that I would just implore people to do, fill out the information, you're not going to get caught, the information is confidential, <laughs> fill it out because you are actually hindering millions or billions of dollars from going in that can build parks, schools, because you're lazy behind or whatever ignorant behind does not want to fill out a piece of paper. Well, I'm they sorry. also you don't have know. to be more specific in terms of the fact that this is confidential. Because when exactly. people say, Education. you know, when you get a job survey and they say, okay, fill out your gripes, don't worry, this is confidential. Mm -hmm. Most people don't fill it out because they're like, look, I want to keep my job. I don't right. know, you mm -hmm. know what's going to happen. So, I mean, I think they have to go into more detail like the article did where the article specifically said there are fines, you know, there's felony um, status for actually re releasing information that shouldn't be, that they, they sometimes within right. the system, separate your name from the information mm -hmm. so and that they can actually get the... government agencies cannot get any of your information. Yes, yeah, exactly. right. yeah, they can't pass it on exactly. to exactly. other places. Totally so, I mean, that needs to be advertised as much as, you know, we see advertising for... But let me ask you know, this question. Let me ask exactly. this question, Charles. Let me ask you this. Is part of the problem that they're trying to advertise this or, uh, to, for people to go online and maybe a lot of us are not able to go online to access this information? Because a lot of times they point people to the website and stuff, and it really hasn't been a public campaign that I've seen mm -hmm. so far right. talking about it. Exactly, and so evidently they're not getting the word out. And in regards to, uh, number one, being computer literate, as well as having access to computers, I think our community is, is there's a dearth of, of com it's gotten better. Right. It's gotten a whole lot better in terms of us getting, uh, having computers, but I think we have a way to go, as well as becoming computer literate, to be able to even uh, work a computer. So 
you know, those might be hindrances in, in regards. So to maybe the, the government needs to look at getting a better message out there because, I mean, th I mean, all of us here are computer literate, but I know plenty of people in certain communities that don't have access to, to the Internet and, and, and have computers. So exactly. maybe, I, the, yeah. I just need to reiterate that because I've had arguments with people over this who, a lot, a lot of my friends who live in public housing, and we, we've gone at it. I say, look, man, you got to fill it out. No, no. Right. I said, look, and I, we've said, just have a conversation. And we, and you have no, ex once you know, you have no excuse to not execute, right. okay? I understand that there's a lot of ignorance, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm ignorant on many things. You know, yes, you are. Things, exactly. <laughs> and there's, there's certain things that I, I won't be able to do because I'm just ignorant of that fact. But, but once I obtain right. the knowledge... But right. no ignorance means not knowing. Yeah, not knowing. Right. Ignorance just means not having the knowledge. Yeah, but, but I, I don't know. know. And I understand the fear because I, I, I told Maurice that I got a census for the first time ever um, about a year ago, and I, you know, I moved into the, the into Bed Stuy three years ago, and this is the first time I've ever seen a census. And as I went through it, and it was asking questions like, um, "How far are you from work? What time do you leave your house in the morning?" Mm -hmm. You know, just really specific questions. Where I was like, "Hey, what do you need to know this for?" Like, right. you know, so outside I understand watching. that people have been a li <laughs> little bit hesitant, you know, in the past. Mm -hmm. But again, I think there needs to be a media blitz where they like, actually explain. A question. A little this little is something more. that we can do. To this is something that we can right. do in order to take initiative of to make sure we can get this. In. That's why this show is important because now there's people out here, hopefully, that are listening that it's okay to fill those ten questions out so we can start getting some money for these schools. And, and see, and people, the, mm -hmm. but people, again, I think. You know, looking at the history, and I hate to go back to the point again, Cold but I think it's really about do people believe that it's confidential? It's, you right. know, the information, they might know the information, but do they believe that, that it's really confidential? I think that's what, it's not necessarily ignorance, it's that they don't believe it. I think it's a part, partly both, is ignorance and, and distrust for the government, which is, you know, we have a reason to be distrustful of the government. Yeah, and, but I think the thing is, though, we have to look at the whole idea of what is the greater good in this situation and stuff and we complain about all of these different things within our communities and then we don't do the things we need to do in order to resolve some of these issues so you can't blame barack obama about that because if you don't fill out the census you don't have money to be uh, allocated you don't have somebody in your particular area representing you it's because you didn't respond this is what we talk about personal responsibility and stuff step up to the plate